So I grew up around Boston, Massachusetts. Not far from Boston is a little town called Plymouth. Maybe you heard about it. There were some pilgrims that crossed the Atlantic and they kind of started this whole party that we call America. Well, growing up around here, we used to come on field trips to Plymouth Plantation and to Plymouth Rock and we'd learn about the pilgrims and how they lived and just our heritage. It was amazing. A few years back, there was a movie that came out with one of my childhood heroes named Kirk Cameron, and the name of the movie was Monumental. And in that movie, he was in Plymouth, going to all those places. And I remember thinking to myself, how cool is this? I've been there, I've been there. And then he went to a place that I'd never been. It's called the Monument of Our Forefathers. And this is the kind of place I want to bring my kids to. National Monument to the Forefathers, erected by a grateful people in remembrance of their labors, sacrifices, and sufferings for the cause of civil and religious liberty. The plan of the principal pedestal is in the shape of an octagon, with four small and four large faces. From the small faces project four stone supports. On the main pedestal stands the heroic figure of faith, with her right hand pointing toward heaven and her left hand clutching the Bible. Upon the four stone supports also are seated figures emblematic of the principles upon which the pilgrims founded their commonwealth. Counterclockwise from the east are morality, law, education, and liberty. Each was carved from a solid block of granite. Under morality stand prophet and evangelist. Under law stand justice and mercy. Under education are youth and wisdom. And under liberty stand tyranny overthrown and peace. On the face of the stone supports, beneath these figures are high reliefs in marble, representing scenes from pilgrim history. Under morality is embarkation. Under law is treaty. Under education is compact. And under freedom is landing. The right and left panels contain the names of those who came over in the Mayflower. The rear panel, which was not engraved until recently, contains a quote. Thus, out of small beginnings, greater things have been produced by his hand that made all things of nothing and gives being to all things that are. And as one small candle may light a thousand, so the light here kindled hath shone unto many, yea, in some sort to our whole nation. Let the glorious name of Jehovah have all praise. So we are in Plymouth and we are trying a little breakfast spot called the Blueberry Muffin. That is just too cute for me not to get a video of. So we're going to share our experience.
a uh, blueberry pancake on the side. Yep. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes, please. You could do this. What a feast, not only on plates, but sitting at your feet. We just ask for supernatural strength through this meal, and I pray for Kathleen and Brett and their three children yeah. that you would fill them up in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Could we be more blessed? Oh, this is the best. <laughs>I would have loved to have showed you a video of me eating the muffin, except that happened fast. It was amazing. Don't touch this one. The only thing better than this food is the amazing fellowship we got to have. Hi, babe. Absolutely. Hi, Joy. My name is Joy. Oh, you're so good. You're so good. You're the best. You're the best. You're the best.